this is Sandra Hart. You know, I'm not a professional hairdresser, but because of COVID, our salons are still closed. So I have had to remember how I used to cut my hair years ago. So today I'm going to show you how I cut my curly hair and what products that I use to help control the frizz and to try to keep my hair in shape. I use the Everpure Sulfate Volume Shampoo to help uh, to shampoo my hair. I found that no sulfate shampoos really helps keep it in condition. And along with that, I use, and I'm almost out of it, I use the Ever Pure Volume Conditioner. And both of these products I love because it really seems to keep my hair in condition. And also, I swear by this product, it's the Dream Coat for Curly Hair by Color Wow and it is wow. This is one of my workhorse products that I absolutely cannot do without. After I wash and condition my hair and I dry it a little bit, then I put this on and I comb it very gently through my hair with a wooden comb. So this product is excellent for me. And of course, the other staple product that I use is my Marula oil. And I have found that these products really help me condition my hair and help sit keep from frizzing down here in this hot humid Florida weather and helps me keep control of sometimes my uncontrollable hair okay I have washed my hair and of course I'm using my wooden comb to straighten my hair and to comb it through to be sure there are no tangles in it now, you know, I am not a professional, but I used to cut my hair years ago when I was working in New York in the theater and the film. I was so busy, I never had time to go to the salon and get my hair cut or fixed, so I'd always do it myself, and I used to cut my hair by myself. I wore it straight a lot then, though. You know, I didn't embrace my curls, unfortunately. So I just hold my scissors at a little angle, and then I take a... Um, clip and I clip each piece. I pull it up straight up in the air and then out at a little angle. You know I recently became a grandma in August and I should be down in Nashville right now but because of this COVID you know I'm here in South Beach but I FaceTime with my daughter-in-law and my son and I get to see pictures of my grandchild so you know, I try not to feel sorry for myself. That's the second best for me right now. And my oldest daughter, Brett, uh, who retired from United Airlines, she's in her late 50s, but before she was a flight attendant, she was a uh, designer of uh, websites and a technical designer, and she's so very creative. She really is. So she has tried to think of reinventing herself and going back to designing uh, now that she is retired and she retired just at the right time just maybe two weeks before all of this happened and the airline shut down because all of her flight attendant friends are furloughed they don't even know if they're going to go back to have a job so she was really fortunate that she decided uh, because of her psoriatic arthritis her autoimmune illness was getting so bad that it was just very hard for her to bend and to push those heavy carts down the aisles and to drag her baggage, you know, miles and miles from airport to airport. So she thought about it and decided she had to put her health and her wellness above everything else. So she decided to retire, but it really worked out well for her. But what we're doing, in the meantime, I have... Uh, worked with her we have collaborated she is the designer but she has done a whole line of merchandise for me and my subscribers and people that love my sayings that i have and she has designed a whole line of t-shirts cups mugs even sophie sweaters you know for little doggy sweaters with um friend of sophie and cute little sayings on them so I am giving all of the, if the, I have any sales, you know, the, all the sales go to her uh, and her 
because you know she's now retired and she has a son that's in college and you know it's hard today to be a single mother no matter what so all of the proceeds from the sales of my teespring uh, teas and they're really really nice i've ordered a couple for myself and i probably uh, will do a fashion show with those and other teas that i have but um they're below here so when you open up all of my videos there is a teespring store banner right below the video before you start playing it and all of those shirts are in there but i have long sleeve shirts short sleeve shirts but they really are really cool i love them so but all of the proceeds will go to her income uh now you know because it's hard for her she can't take a nine to five job because of her illness and uh, she's uh, 57 she just turned 57 september the first so it's hard you know when you have children you love all of them and you want them all to have the very best life ever so i'm hoping that she will be able to build up a big business she also does all of the books for me the kdp books my purposeful gathering flyers i design them and she i give her all the information that should be in them and then she puts them in a good format for me so she's extremely talented okay <laughs> i think i have uh done the best job i can and actually when your hair dries if you see something out of place you can clip a little bit but i have to say you know when you have curly hair you can kind of mess it up a little bit and it still looks okay if i were doing a straight sassoon cut i don't know how well i'd be able to do it but because my hair curls up i can hide a lot of missteps and you know i have two two cowlicks in the back of my hair so that i have to kind of roll it up with a put a clip on it when i air dry it because it gives it a little more height you know cowlicks your, your hair separates <laughs> it looks crazy i've got two places in the back of my hair that separates but when it's layered the curls kind of cover it so that's good but uh, life goes on for us doesn't it it really does this is my color wow and i just spray it uh, try to get it close to the roots underneath and actually this is the end of this bottle i have a backup that i just got so i have another full bottle of this but i swear by this product i know they have it for straight hair but this curly hair product i absolutely love because i don't blow dry my hair and i just let it air dry the the best thing is if i can sit out in the sun but it's pouring down rain today so it's going to take a while for my hair to dry but i'm going to air dry it and then i will come back and show you the the finished product but i hope everyone is doing well you know during these times it's really crazy with everything that's going on in the world and i try to limit the news to you know at least one hour a day i don't want to be completely ignorant about what's going on but i can't stand more than one hour of news because it really stresses me out to the max even my children who are younger it also does to them too you know because they have children and they're fearful of what their children's futures are going to be so it's really hard you know it's not just here it's all over the world it's getting kind of crazy my prayers too are for all of my subscribers and friends out west where they're having all those fires and i think about the people and the wildlife and everything that's been done okay now i have let it air dry and i'm going to put on my marula oil just a couple of drops and my frizz ease cream a drop rub it between my hands and then rub it in my scalp like this just get it all through the ends and through my scalp and there is my <laughs> my COVID haircut I trimmed it once before because it was really getting long 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 
and uh, I had to trim it again. So, all right. So this is the way I trim my hair by myself, even though I'm not a professional hairdresser. And that is the way that I uh, use my marula oil and my frizz ease. I let it air dry first, and then I uh, put all of that on my hair. So it's still kind of wild and crazy. Thank you so much for joining me today for this, you know, little do it yourself, get ready with me video. And I hope that you do something wonderful for yourself today. And of course, call somebody, text someone that you love and tell them that you're thinking about them. And of course, to share the love. Thank you for coming. And I hope you subscribe if you have not done so already. And um, I will see you in my next video. Take care and have a wonderful day.